in the early 60s, I made these two short films at Washington Square College, NYU, that received a lot of attention, that got some awards, some scholarships. And I tried my hand at a feature based on similar characters in, in Mean Streets. And uh, the first try at it in 1965 didn't work. But from 65 to 72, uh, I worked on everything. I did documentaries. I was mainly an editor, um, writing everything, trying to get independent films made somehow, any kind of way I can get into uh, making making films. Uh, because it isn't the way it is now. Back in that, back then in, in the early 60s, particularly in, in New York, you didn't make features. Um, features were made only in Los Angeles. So Haig Mnugin and the other teachers, at uh, professors at the, at the school, were mainly gearing us to make documentaries and that sort of thing. But I needed I needed I needed something more, and it took me. The, it took me until, until 1972 doing Boxcar Bertha was when I finally found where I belonged in terms of how to make pictures. Uh, one of the things that, he, that was important about Boxcar Bertha too for me was the preparation. Because the one thing I learned from Roger was total preparation. Before shooting started, he came down. And I was told that you're going to shoot all the scenes with the train first four days, which is like baptism of fire. Because a train, um, when you do one take and you want to do another take, the train's got to back up. Backing up takes time. We don't have time. You go in the morning, you're already behind. There's no such thing as time. You've lost time already. Just by breathing, you're losing time. So get it over with. They'll work out a system, get the train back. And that was really, the, that was something I've never forgotten because the hardest shooting of the entire picture was the first four days. The, the idea was to get the energy of the person who was driven to make movies. The kind of thing that takes possession of you is you have to make talking pictures. They have to move. And he just took advantage of that uh, fresh blood, so to speak, and that fresh energy, the enjoyment, the craziness of making a picture in 15 days. On Unholy Rollers, when I brought in the rough cut to him, and uh, uh, I, I walked in, he said, how long is the picture? I said, an hour and, and uh, seven minutes. He goes, we got a problem. I said, what do you mean? It's too short. And he spoke to Vernon, whatever, and they went back and shot a scene or two and went and put it back in. He just knew the length had to be a certain way. Uh, but I, I've never seen anybody just be so extraordinary in terms of pacing of a picture and um, knowing, knowing the audience that it's for, you know, it's remarkable. And he had a way of dealing with um, dispensing with uh, certain um, conventions of, of cinema, uh, cinema narrative. For example, I think it was Not of This Earth where the alien has to explain, um, he's asked the question by one of the earthlings, uh, uh, how do you people, what, what form do you people take on your planet? And he goes, it's far too complicated for you to understand. You have an earthling mind and let's move on. And that's true. We can't com comprehend what an alien is like, so let's move on with the story. Well, Roger was, uh, to me, uh, uh, is one of the most important American filmmakers. I think it's very important to let the generation of today know who he is.